Hi, this is one of my 3Rs project, Reduce, Reuse and Recycle for our planet. In this video, I would like to demonstrate how I change this CK7794 V0 camera webcam from Dell Inspiron 1420 to a USB webcam so that I can use it with desktop computers. First of all, I need to remove the camera from the Inspiron 1420, I removed the cover, there are 6 screws and many clips around. I, I removed this cover of the LCD display and use a flat lever or minus screwdriver to I move it inward a little bit to move this cover in and then push the frame outward a little bit so that all those clips are dislodged. So if you want to use camera only and if you don't want to remove the whole LCD just remove the top part is enough but otherwise remove the whole covering including the bottom part the bottom part has many clips here also after the cover is removed LCD is exposed and here is a camera in the middle is the camera and there are two microphones with two screws to remove the camera I need to undo the screws here this is a camera cable it is secured by this black color latch so this is a camera this is a latch the camera uh, cable is attached here this is from the bottom so this is a latch I can see the pins on top not only the pin here they are pins on top also they are connected to each other So I'm going to use these pins to connect to USB cable this is the view from the top the pins are very close to each other so it is impossible to solder the wires here I need to cut off this block cut off the plastic in between the pins to expose then the pins isolate them one by one and then solder one by one then put something in between the pins to prevent touching to each other this is the camera with cable from the front view this is from the back so you can see the pin are labeled so I need to identify which pins are for which one I look for the pin of information but it is not easy to find it so this is the cable attached to the LCD cable at the back of the LCD this is the LCDs this is the back this is the LCD cable so the camera cable attached here so it's impossible to use this cable to connect to USB cable because it's impossible to scrape, scratch the top and solder the exposed wire and cable lines. If you're lucky enough, your camera will come like this with this kind of cable so you can strip off the cables and connect to USB easily. In my case, this is my cable so it's impossible to be used but I can use the label pin 1 to pin 8. As I mentioned, I check the pin of information. Some information are available for different computer, uh, different camera models. They use eight pins also. They mentioned that, that one to four are for camera and five to eight are for audio. These microphones. It can be the same, but I have to make sure. First of all, I need to identify the pins and label them. So, if you look from the back, this is pin one, the short arm, and pin eight is on the long arm side so the pin 1 will go to this side this is the front view pin 8 will be here then I will label all the pins like this then I will identify the ground cable ground pin so the screw holes has a metal coat copper coat this is for grounding the electricity so if the pin has a continuity with this metal go to a metal plate then there can be a ground one so I choose a meter to check a continuity pin 1 is a ground then other cameras also have pin out information pin 4 is a power supply they use 3.3 volt my one I have another one laptop because I combined two uh, broken laptop to become one still functioning I check the power supply from the cable then I found that pin 4 is a power supply but it used 5 volts 
So it's good that I can use 5 volt directly from USB cable because USB cable use 5 volt also. So this is a ground, this is 5 volt. So the cables in between two must be data cables. Usually next to ground is D1, D plus and next to power supply is D minus. It doesn't matter if you connect to the USB cable wrongly, it will become like unrecognized device, then you can swap over again. Most important thing is power supply and ground should not be connected wrongly. The rest are for audio. This is USB cable, full cable also. So this is a power supply, D minus, D plus and ground. So I will connect the cable here to here. So this is a diagram that I'm going to connect. This is how I did it. So I, like I mentioned, cut off the plastic block, the plastic in between, expose the pins. You can see that the it is cut off. Even this one bent, and then uh, this was about to touch to the other pin. So this is what I need to be careful. Then I solder the wires one by one, leave a space in between. Then to make sure they won't touch to each other. I check the continuity to make sure that they are clear from each other first. Then I use hot glue to push in between the pins and wires. So they won't be touched to each other anymore. They are partitioned by hot glue. The hot glue is the one to secure the cables here also. That is what I got. Then I connect those wires to USB cable. Then it is ready. I stick the camera on top of the monitor but at the back of the camera has a little bit of bumps there so I use two layers of uh, double sided tape if you want to tilt it down or up a little bit you need to modify something at the back and stick two layers one is the frame a little bit tilt down or up and then another one is connect to camera so let's try So I will connect the camera here. The camera is up. Camera is there. It doesn't need to install driver for this camera because this webcam use the Windows default generic webcam driver. So this is the video. You can see me clearly. The quality is not HD. This is the setting. Photo quality is 1.9 megapixel, video quality 600p, so it's not bad. It's still useful for Zoom meeting and online class, online chatting, video chatting. But if you really want a high definition camera, then you need to buy a new one. This is an old camera, old laptop camera, so aspect ratio also is 4 is to 3. But please bear in mind that these are not essential things, and if you through the old computer's parts it damaged the planet and then if you buy the new one to produce a new product they have to produce so many things like metals and plastics and the things so it will damage our planet also so reducing the electrical waste elect reducing the waste which can damage the art our planet and reusing the parts recycling the parts also can help to prevent uh, environmental disasters and natural disaster which endanger our life so please practice reduce reuse and recycle thank you for watching